I'm standing in front of a 19th century chateau that's surrounded by lush greenery and beautiful vineyards. Since 2011, it's been the home of Whetstone Wine Cellars, and they've been inviting guests to experience their world-class wine tastings. Let's head on in and meet the owner, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Crystal. How are you? I'm great. Nice, nice to see, see you. you. Yeah. If, if someone were to do a, a buyout, right, what are the spaces they have access to? We, we sort of excel at those corporate events, um, you know, the private events where anywhere from 15 to 65 really want to come mm -hmm. in and sit down and, mm -hmm. and have a seated you know, experience inside. It's really nice to take your shoes off out on the lawn. There's about a half an acre's worth out there that's really, you know, gorgeous setting. So tell me about your story. You know, I hear that Southern drawl, uh, but you're now a Napa winemaker. So, so what's the story? I mean, who are you? Got out here in the mid 90s, went to work for uh, for a guy, like I said, driving a tractor for mm -hmm. about 10 bucks an hour. Ended up in France working for a family there in Burgundy and Maurice Saint Denis, and then ended up back here to start Whetstone. You get to understand what it's like to be not only at Whetstone, but be a part of Whetstone uh, as well and a part of our family, whether it's me or Michelle, or and then also there's Ace. Yes, okay, Ace, uh, Ace is the dog. Ace is the dog, <laughs> yeah. So tell me about the types of wines you guys have here. What are you most proud of? We make primarily Pinot Noir. We make, or I make five of them, um, which is kind of zigs where Napa zags. We also make a little Viognier and some Syrah. Um, and we've got a couple of Bordeaux varietals, Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc that I'm real stoked about that'll be coming up in the future. Those all sound awesome. I want to taste them. Cool, let's do it. These are some nice tasting pours, Jamie. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we're gonna start with, uh, with a 2015 Viognier. Do you taste that acidity, like that little bit of a squeeze of lemon yeah, in there? Yeah, but it's not too bad. We're gonna move into two separate Pinot Noirs. Oh, I smell like cherry and plum. Dark and... cherry and plum, great nose. The atmosphere of this breathtaking property is the perfect backdrop to a lovely experience. You cheers. Cheers. <laughs> 